let's talk about the content creation for the for the channel and a, a little bit on that. How do you decide? Uh, and, and a lot of YouTubers are very strategic on which cars they buy because they want the most clicks and they have good ROI and things of that nature. How do you decide what you how you build your content? You know, I would be lying if I didn't say back my mind I was thinking about whether or not a car would do well. Sure, but I think Natural. more importantly, you have to be passionate about the car because if you buy a car and you're just building it to build it because you think it'll do well, people see through that. You have to find that balance of something that the audience is going to, you know, be excited about just as much as you're going to be excited to work on it. And I mean, let's be honest, like, it's going to take hours and hours and so much of your time to build these cars. You got to find something that you love. Um, so if the question was, how do I find it? Um, for me, I'm constantly looking to what I can push the boundaries in. Um, and you know, at the time that I was a C8 recently picking up the Mustang, I'm hoping to be doing more with that. Um, I just got the new Bronco in, uh, that was a car I didn't mention. That's that, fun. That I also have. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm really excited about it. it. It's funny that now I've, I have a couple Fords, but I'm just waiting for my Z06 allocation to come in. So I can start focusing <laughs> on that. Again. Um, but yeah, I'm just constantly trying to find something that is new territory because that's what I love the most about the C8 was I, you know, I was calling the dealership saying, hey, how do I pull this motor? And they're like, they're like, we don't know. We haven't done it before, but we'll print you our service guide on how to do it. <laughs> <laughs> and that was fun because it was it was getting to share something with the world that people hadn't gotten the opportunity to see it. And I'm also learning while I'm doing it. 